Alright, welcome back to Golden Josh Gaming. Last time we uh, just narrowly defeated the Armored Armadillo. I don't know why I said we just narrowly defeated him. We uh, we defeated him pretty handily, but whatever. This time we're going to be checking out Launch Octopus. Check out his stage. It's as you'd expect from an octopus. It's underwater. Check it out on the map. It's over there in a little uh, a harbor or a bay or whatever kind of body of water that is. We're going to check out what he's all about. Launch Octopus. With a height of 7.8 feet and a weight of 348 pounds. He has the homing torpedo and the E-Drain. I don't, I don't even know what the E-Drain is. Huh. It definitely sounds more menacing than sliding and diving though, so maybe he will be a worthy opponent. So, here we are, kind of in a shallow pool of water, fighting these uh, mechanical tortoise rocket launcher things, and some, uh, some slide across the water green mechanical insects, I guess. What are you going to do? But we actually go under the water, and I don't really know exactly why. Because I know every time I've been in the water, it's been harder to jump, but... Oh, jeez, I almost killed myself there. But apparently being in the water makes it easier for Mega Man X to jump long distances. So that's, uh... That's definitely interesting. We got a little mini-boss here, so... He's my go-to torpedo for him. Just kind of get so many hits on him. If you launch it up towards the top, you can take out his little searchlight there. It's also wide enough that it's actually able to take out his little, uh, seeker missiles, if you will. Ugh, just die already. Come on, there you go. Get some help. These enemies are some of my favorite, because they just kind of, you know, they s- oh. Because they suck you up. Hey, fish! You suck! You suck, man. So they just kinda. They suck you up. And then you just blow them up from the inside. That's it. Alright, we got this guy again, only. As I was about to say, only it's more dangerous because there's spikes now, but... I suck. I at least took us right back here. Take out his searchlight. Fight the current. And when we get a chance... Launch him. I could probably jump over him. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. I'd like to see him hit me now. I'm gonna die on it. Yep. There we go. That's just me being stupid. Me being stupid. Okay, let's actually do everything right this time. See how much easier it is when you do everything right? You just dash when he's pulling you in, and when he's not, you shoot him. Just like that. Except I'm out of weapons, so... There we go. We'll finish him off. And get a ton of health, apparently. So these are little, uh... Underwater jet things that you can use to get to the surface. Find some health and some other little secrets, I guess. So we'll do that again over here. Nothing. 
do that here. Oh, we've got a little boat up there we can check out. As long as it'll turn on again. Come on, there we go. If I had any of more of my, uh, my tornado power up, it would be very helpful here. Because it takes it out pretty much instantaneously. But I wasted it all. Because I'm the worst. Huh. The fire probably also takes it out easily. Yeah. Go me. So it actually ends up coming down here through the floor. You see when we use our fire underwater, it obviously doesn't work. Go figure. And we fight another mini boss in this level. A nice little dragon. If I had my tornado, this would take him out almost instantly. But again, I'm the worst. You can shoot him on his head or his tail. Whichever is the most readily available at the moment. But I finally, I normally think the head is easier. Even though you can sometimes get him on his tail. And he's down. And I didn't fall in spikes. And it opens up a little passageway over here. Which leads to pretty much the most complicated to get hard tank in the game. But. That's what it is. And we can hop back up here. Nothing up there. And sounds like we're hearing something burrowing. It's coming out right here, and it's another one of these serpents. Oh. That didn't work out too well for me. Uh, make the jump. Shoot him in the face. Again, if I still had my tornadoes, this would be... This would be over. And come on, die. Die, you stupid snakes. I've had it with these mother-flippin' snakes in this Monday to Friday ocean. If you've never seen the TV edit of that line from Snakes on a Plane, you, uh, you definitely need to check it out. It's definitely the best, the best TV edited line I've ever heard. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll put a link to someone's video so you can check it out. Because it is just, it's the best. It's the best. Enough is enough! I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play. Everybody strap in. I'm about to open some freaking windows. Alright, we'll take out Launch Octopus's weakness, which I really don't get this one. I don't know why a shield takes out a missile shooting octopus, but it is what it is. And true to his name, he just launches things at us. He's just launching. Dang it. And then he does this little twister thing. Maybe that's the E-drain. Maybe it's literally supposed to be like a drain in a tub. Oh man. I don't want to die. Ah, I should have to use it. Just so I don't actually die for a third time in this level. Come on. Hit him. There we go. There we go. Sucks that his missiles can take out my shield. Puts a little more skill into aiming. Which is something I am, uh, I'm lacking in. But I took him down. Launch Octopus is no more.
and just like you'd think, when we, uh, when we get our own little power-up, basically all we do... Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Might be. We shoot homing rockets. What else would you expect? Alright. Next, we'll check out what's on the map as we go down to Boomer Quonger. He's in a little lighthouse. So there you go. You can see it. Actually, it looks more like a... Some sort of tower. Maybe not a lighthouse, but... Who knows. And the specs on him. Boomer Quonger. He's 7.93 feet. With a weight of 206 pounds. <laughs> he throws boomerang cutters. And this guy goes to the gym. He can deadlift. He does not skip leg day. So there you go. He's a deadlifter. He loves it. But his legs look pretty skinny. So I don't I don't know about his deadlifting. Maybe he just deadlifts really light amounts. So we gotta start this level by just going up. Taking him out. Oh, I guess I can show you uh the rocket now. Just kinda homings on to any enemy. I can go and hit him from the back so his shield's not a big problem. I typically just dash through this part because these things are laser eyes. Laser eyes that can uh, lock on to you. I wish there was a button where you could like preset your most used weapon. That way you don't have to cycle through it every time. But eh. it's kind of a small a small problem with the game. Not really a problem, just... It's not even really important. Oh, jeez, I almost died there. Curse you propeller bots! I should probably actually find out if these enemies have names instead of calling them, like... Robot tortoise or propeller bots. But who cares? Take out that little scorpion dude. There we go. It's a lot of ah. Uh, that's what makes this level different than the other ones. Because even in uh, Storm Eagle stage, we did have a lot of going to the left and going to the right. It wasn't all up. There was just like that one or... No, pretty much that one first up portion. But this stage is practically all up. Which kind of just changes everything. It really puts your climbing to use. Now, as you might expect, a guy called Boomer Quonger gives us a little boomerang for our... Uh, power, which we can use to get that heart, but there's another way, since we've already got our arm cannon. All we gotta do is uh, charge up our favorite chill penguin, and then we're able to jump off and grab it. And we are now officially to the point where our weapon and our health are the same. So that is... That's nice. I feel like I've accomplished something. Here. I'm not actually a, a giant fan of the going up sections. Because, as you can see, I'm awful at them. But, alas, here we are. We're gonna use the launch octopus to take him down. The weird thing is a Quonger's not exactly 
an animal, unlike all the other ones. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, Kwonger is sort of an, in an interesting way that the Japanese was translated. But he's really supposed to be like, I think, a beetle. I'm pretty sure that's what the actual translation is supposed to be. But regardless, it does not matter because he is dead. And just like that, the bosses are a lot easier when you have their weaknesses. I mean, I know that's sort of a typical Mega Man staple, but... I mean, if you look back at Spark Mandrel, sometimes they just go overboard. Alright, well next time on Mega Man X, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna take out Sting Chameleon. He'll be our final Maverick, and then we'll just have to see what comes after that. Alright then, until next time, Internet, stay golden. Bye-bye. I have had it with these monkey fight and subscribe buttons on my once a day videos. And if you've had it too, you can click that little subscribe button down there. I hear that every click that that subscribe button receives takes a percent of its life away. So get enough people to click it and we may just beat that subscribe button once and for all. Until next time.